Okay, so this is the part where you get to try it on your own and just check your work. So um, let's look at exercise one. In the diagram below, you have triangle ABC and triangle A, B prime, C prime. And we're going to use the information from the diagram for to answer parts A through D below. Okay, so part A asks us, based on the information given, is triangle ABC similar to A prime, B prime, C prime? Okay, so look at this, these triangles and the information given and see if you can determine that. Okay, for part A, you should have um, seen that there's not enough information given for us to know if um, triangle ABC is similar to A prime, B prime, C prime. We would need, um, we, we have a common angle um, here at point A, but that's not enough to use angle angle. Um, and we don't have the information about, we don't have, since we only have one angle, we need information about pairs of corresponding sides, and we don't have that information. So we can't tell, we can't check for similarity. So we don't know that they aren't, but we don't know that they are. So let's look at um, part B now. Okay, I want to leave the diagram on the screen, so I'll just read what Part B says. You have it in your work. So if we assume, um, in Part B it says, assume that line BC is parallel to, let's, let me point to them, um, BC is parallel to B prime, C prime. Okay, so if we have, if we have that piece of information, then we can know that the triangles are similar because then we have equal angles here and here, corresponding angles here and here. So the triangles would be similar. By the angle angle criterion. Okay, so let's look at part C. So if we are given that the two triangles are are similar. Can we determine the length of AC prime? So let me show you a little bit of work to do that. So you should have um, if okay, so if these are similar, we have a dilation and a scale factor. So we can find the scale factor by looking at um, the ratio of C prime. B prime and C B. Those are the only two corresponding um, side lengths that we have on this diagram. So those are the ones we're going to use. So this would be um, a ratio of 2 to 8 or 1 to 4. So we could use that to um, determine what uh, and what do we ask for? We are asked for AC prime. So AC prime, length of AC prime over the length AC is going to be in the ratio of 1 to 4 or 2 to 8, however you want to do it. So we know that AC is, we can substitute this, we know AC is 6, so we can figure out what AC prime is. Okay, so um, there's a number of ways you can figure this out, but one way is to recognize that when two fractions are equal, we can set their cross products equal. So I know that 4 times AC prime would equal 6 times 1. Okay, so AC, length AC prime is equal to 6 fourths or uh, 1.25. Okay, so the length of AC prime is 1.25.
and you may have figured that out a different way, that's fine. Okay, the last thing we're asked to do is to find the length of um, the length of AB. So for this one, I know that um, that AB prime over length AB would be in that same ratio of two to eight. Okay, so AB prime is 2.7. AB is what we don't know. And that'd be in a ratio of two to eight. Okay, once again, I'm gonna use, um, to solve this equation, I'm going to, to use the fact that eight times 2.7 is equal to 2 times length AB. So setting the cross products equal um, is what we're looking for. So this would be um, dividing both sides by 2. Um, I'm going to get, sorry, I'm going to have to come over here, that length AB is equal to uh, 4 times 2.7. I simplified this right here. 4 times 2.7 and that is 10.8. Going back to my diagram, that makes sense. I've got this, this length here that I'm looking for. Um, okay, so that is exercise 1. So let's go on and look at exercise two. Okay, this is exercise two that you have in your notes. In the diagram below, you have triangle ABC and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Use this information to answer parts A through C. So the first thing we're asked in part A is based on the information given, is triangle ABC similar to A prime, B prime, C prime? So this one, we can look, we're going to look at the angles and the side lengths. So if you haven't done this yet, pause the video and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so looking at our two triangles, I notice that I've got this 92 degree angle and then a 59 degree angle. And so by the angle-angle criterion, I know these two are similar triangles. So that answers part A. Um, now we wanna do part B. So part B says, given that the two triangles are similar, determine the length of A prime uh, a prime C prime. So it's this length right here. Uh, where is it? Right there, the long length on the bigger triangle, A prime C prime. Okay, so because the triangles are similar, I know that the all the side lengths are proportional. So I know that I can write um, I can write a proportion statement. So it would look something like this. So I've got this side length here between the 59 degree and the 92 degree angles that are corresponding sides and their ratio is 5.12 to 3.2 so I know that that ratio has to equal my A prime C prime to AC, which would be 6.1. Okay, so I set the ratios up so that both, um, 
the ratios for the bigger triangle are in the numerator and for the little triangle, the smaller triangle, are in the denominator. Okay, so we need to solve this again. Um, I need to find this missing and I should have um, I should have the length marks on it. So this is my this is my unknown here. So I can um, to make this look a little neater, I can put in an unknown for that. So let's just use x. Okay, so this is that's x right there. So I can set the cross products equal. If you don't remember how to do this, um, you can look it up in uh, one of the math handbooks or in a pre-algebra book. Any pre-algebra book is going to show you how to solve a proportion. This is a proportion where two ratios are set equal to one another. So 3.2 times x is equal to 5.12 times 6.1. All right, and then um, next step would be dividing by 3.2, divide by 3.2, and then I can solve, I have solved for x now because this 3.2 um, over 3.2 is 1, so I have x is equal to that, and you can use your calculator on these. Um, because they're not pretty, and I get the length of AC prime is 9.76. Okay, so that's part B. Part C asks us to determine the length of um, BC. So that's on the original triangle right here, or, well, the smaller triangle BC. Okay, so I'm going to set up another proportion to look at that one. All right, so let's assign a variable, we'll call it y, for the length of BC. So I know that um, the corresponding side length to, to this BC right here would be um, this side length, C prime, B prime, or 8.96. So I have, here I can set up my ratios. I know that 8.96 to Y is the same as, once again, 5.12 to 3.1. Okay, and setting the cross products equal I get 5.12 times y is equal to 8.96 times 3.2. Okay, and then I can go through and divide by 5.12 and y is equal to 8.96 times 3.2 divided by 5.12. So my missing length y, which is um, length bc, is equal to 5.6. And it's okay to punch that into a calculator to find, to find that out. Okay, so length of bc is 5.6. All right, so um, this is the last exercise, exercise three. And in this diagram, we have triangle ABC and triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Um, we're going to use the information given on the diagram to answer the question below. So it looks like we're given one angle. Angle B and B prime are both 101 degrees. And um, we're asked to, to say if triangle ABC is similar to A prime, B prime, C prime. Um, so we can't use angle, angle, because we only have one um, 
pair of corresponding angles. So we're going to have to check the ratios. So what we're going to check is we're going to see if B prime, C prime uh, compared to BC is equal to A prime, B prime, length A prime, B prime over length A, B. So once again, these numbers aren't beautiful. So we have 11.66 over 4.6. And I want to know, is that equal to um, the other ratio? Because if they're equal, if these ratios are equal, then we would have similar triangles. But if they're not, um, then we don't. So we've got 10. 0.58 over 4.6. Okay, so I punch that into my calculator and, and check and see if those are equivalent fractions. I could either just divide and compare the decimal equivalents of those fractions, or I can check the cross products. If those two fractions are equal, then 11.66 times, oh, I have something wrong here, don't I? What did I do? Um, this one should be 5.3. You are catching me. Okay, 11.66 times 5.3, um, you know, I want to know, does that equal 10.58? times 4.6 and I find out that it doesn't because 11.66 times 5.3 is 61.8 about and 10.58 times 4.6 is about 48 7. So these are not equal. Therefore, we don't have similar triangles. So in this case, we were given enough information, but the information tells us that they're not similar. So there were other examples where we weren't given information and we couldn't know for sure because we didn't have enough. Okay, let's look at the, the lesson summary for this on your problem set page. Okay, so what we saw, um, remember in lesson 10, we saw that if we had two angles, we could tell if, uh, if, two, if two, two pairs of corresponding angles, we could tell that the two triangles were similar. Um, in this uh, lesson, we saw that if we had one pair of corresponding angles of, of a triangle equal, so in this diagram, that would be right here, um, we can use the side lengths along that given angle to determine if the triangles are similar. Um, so, set a different way down here. If angle E is, measure of angle E is equal to the measure of angle D, and um, 1 half equals 3 6 equals our scale factor, um, then we have triangle ABC similar to DEF. That was our first example. Um, given similar triangles, this is something else we did in the exercises especially, is that if we have similar triangles, we can use the fact that ratios of corresponding sides are equal to find any missing measurements. And we did that. Sometimes it's very simple because the numbers are simple. Other times you're going to have to use um, a little bit of algebra to, to solve those proportions to find the missing links. Okay, so you're ready for the problem set and the exit ticket, so good luck.